and this might be one of the coolest things I've ever worked on. You know what it's like. You see a cool new filament and you want to try it out, but as you're hovering over that buy button, you remember the last three spools of fancy filament that you bought, used for that one thing, and haven't used since. You could join one of those monthly filament subscription boxes and maybe get one or two of the cool ones, but you'll also be buried in more samples than you can use, not to mention the... Seriously, black ABS. It sounds like you need the 3D Printing Professor Filament of the Month Club. Each month you'll receive a generous coil of just the good stuff. Enough to work with it, but not so much that you'll feel guilty later. Thanks, 3D Printing Professor. Join the Filament of the Month Club today. So back when I did the Low Poly Dino Kickstarter, this is an idea I had that I wanted to make happen. The idea of taking a low poly volcano and making it smoke. Now, the initial idea was that I was going to get one of those little misters, those foggers that they put into lakes and ponds to make them foggy and just throw that inside the volcano with some water. But that met with a couple of problems. First of all, the top of the volcano was too small to put the mister inside of it so I couldn't just close off the bottom of the volcano and print one like that. Also it had a cute huge cable that I needed to address so I decided I was going to drill a hole in the side of a volcano that I made and then make a removable bottom. Now I printed the volcano in dual materials. The one material, the first one that I printed was PET G that was a slightly transparent pink and if I got a mister with LED lights on it they'd shine through in the dark which would be I thought super cool. When I drilled the hole in the side of that one it created a big problem. It cracked holes throughout that entire pink and lava-y portion and no matter how much hot glue or sealant I tried to use, I could never get that to stop leaking. So with that problem now firmly entrenched, I basically needed to restart and print another volcano. I still had the problem of a removable base. And I designed this with the possibility of making a base that would maybe snap into place and I'd maybe use a sealant or a rubber seal on it or something like that to hold it in place. When a friend at the makerspace said, well, why don't you just put a bowl underneath it? And I went, it doesn't have to be a regularly shaped bowl. I could just 3D print basically the inside of the volcano and then just not go up so high and I would still be able to get the thing in there. Now I was at this point still working on the assumption that I would have the cable running out the side of it. And when I tried this iteration with the bowl, it was good, but it ran into a little problem. The mist never came out of the top of the volcano. It was too heavy, this water vapor that I was making. Just, it never, never bubbled up high enough. So that was discouraging, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do from this point. I would pretty much written it off as wasn't going to happen. Again, another friend, this one who worked next door at a children's museum where they had a really cool vortex display. He said, you could just do what we do for the vortex display. And I said, well, what is that? He said, what we do is we basically take a bunch of these same misters and foggers that you have, but we put fans above them and the fog gets drawn up through the fan. Well, I've got some fans left over from various 3D printers that I've torn apart. Why don't I why don't I try putting one of these fans in here? So I did put it in here and when I put it near the top to draw the mist out, it 
it drew the mist in, but what was coming out on the other side was not mist. I, I couldn't see the mist anyways. Either it was making it go too fast or it was dispersing it or it was chopping it up or making it condense. I'm not sure what happened. And I was starting to get a little bit frustrated and discouraged here. But when playing with the fan, I realized that if I blew into the hole that I had for the cable to come out, that I could just stir it up enough and that that hole was small enough that most of the fan was deflected outside, it created the effect that I was looking for. Now this created a new problem. I had to now run the cable down the outside of the bowl, which meant printing a new bowl, which I did. Then I sealed it again with a two-part epoxy so that it wouldn't leak. And then, since the fan that I had was a 12 volt fan, and the mister that I had was a 12 volt mister, I thought, I wondered if I could power them both with the power supply from the mister. The idea of taking circuits and wiring them up with the same power source so that they both get the same amount of power is called parallel wiring them up in parallel so theoretically i should be able to power both the fan and the mister if i wired them in parallel but i needed to test it out first before i started cutting wires and putting them together because there's a chance that while they both said that they wanted 12 volts if one of them wanted significantly more or less the power wouldn't go to one of those channels or the other it would go along the short end of the circuit Hence why we call that short circuiting. So I took out a breadboard and I made up a little connector and I tested it all out without splicing anything. And at this point I was even putting a potentiometer on the fan because I wanted to be able to control its speed. And in the end I decided not to go with the potentiometer because I really didn't get that much control. But I put it all together, I tested it out, and sure enough they were both running off of the power supply for the mister so this would work and with that test successful it was time to get splicing in cutting up the wires i was very careful to keep things separated as best as possible and work on just one line at a time but i discovered very quickly that i didn't know which one of the lines coming in was power and which one of them went to ground. So I did a little bit of quick Googling, discovered which was which, tested it out, and sure enough, it worked. Now I'm using shrink wrap tubing to keep everything together, but I made a mistake with the big shrink wrap tubing that was supposed to go around the outside. With the Y junction, I should have put the shrink wrap tubing below it so that it will go over both of the wires coming out, and I put it above, which meant I had to get another shrink wrap tubing, even bigger so that it would slip over the plug, which meant that it didn't shrink down all the way. But in the end, I managed to get it to work with a little bit of electrical tape and some good old fashioned just keep on trying. Splicing done, get the fan positioned, turn it on, and then what happens? Well, the fan being where it was, was drawing the fumes out and then right back into itself, creating, quite frankly, a really fascinating little loop, but I needed the smoke to go out and, and cover the dinosaurs and the volcano. So I created a little fan shroud to put over the outside of the fan to hopefully draw it away from the fumes so that it wouldn't just draw them back in. And finally, finally, it works. I am so proud of this project. I am so happy with the way that it worked. Now, I will admit, I'm cheating just a little bit. You notice I've got it in a tray with a towel underneath it because there is still some leaks that I need to work on. I'm not quite done 
working on this, but it's good enough to show off. Oh, and the LED lights light up and you can see it working in the dark. It's super cool and super exciting. I am extremely happy with how well this turned out and I am happy to share it with you. I hope that you are inspired by this and that you decide that you want to try and make something like this yourself. And if you've got something cool that you're making, why don't you jump on the Discord channel, show up at the What You Making channel and show it to everybody. I'd love to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if I mentioned anything in this video, you'll find a link to it in the cards and you should check that out. Did you know that I'm social? I've got links to all the socials and you should stop by and say hi. I really kind of enjoy it when that happens. Big thanks go out to my direct backers. And if you want to know more about how you can become that, there'll be a link right here that you can check out. And as always, I want to remind you safety first because I care about you and I'll see you next time. Oh, that's interesting. Classic one there.